Hello and welcome everyone. I just wanted to give us another minute so that we can let everyone join and have more people join. So let's just give it another minute and then we can start. Okay, <clears throat> welcome to our Lunch and Learn webinar where we are excited to introduce to you the powerful Kairos platform and all of its amazing features and capabilities. Over the next 15 minutes or so, we will explore the various tools and resources available within the Kairos platform and show you how it can help you streamline your business operations and testing. Whether you are a seasoned or a new user to Kairos, we are confident that you will find this webinar informative and valuable. Sit back, relax, and get ready to learn about this incredible platform. Kairos is your one-stop shop for all your testing needs. We are the first comprehensive and complete automated testing SaaS platform that can test all things digital. Test your web applications, mobile applications, perform API testing, and tie it all together by testing end-to-end -end business processes on Kairos 2. But beyond just that, Kairos covers your infrastructure needs as well. Through the usage of our own device and browser farms, execute your tests at lightning speeds, in parallel, and on real mobile devices. To complete the circle, tie in your CI-CD pipeline implementations. Kairos is simple to use, scalable to your testing needs, implements smart features to augment the testing process, and entirely secure. Hello, greetings and welcome from Kairos. And again, for any that missed it, it's pronounced Kairos. Today, we have the next part in our Lunch and Learn webinar series where we'll give you a sneak peek into testing on Kairos. And we promise to make this one speedy and get you back to your day in about 15 minutes. We'll be going through the Kairos web testing module and explaining from a high level the basics of testing web applications. However, we have many more resources out there for your consumption. If you would like to learn more about our platform or perhaps a specific part of it, feel free to visit our website at www.kairos.com forward slash resources. There you can find things like our blog series, Feature Friday, where we highlight specific features on the platform. And you can also find some reports on the various topics of automated testing. Feel free to sign up for a 30-day free trial and check out the platform from there. And then also check out our tutorials in our documentation. It'll be very similar to what you see today. Testing software can be a lot of work, so much so that doctors have said in a recent study that an adverse effect of too much software testing is a loss of hair. Well, as you'll see soon, Kairos can help keep hair on your head while still allowing you to do all the software testing you need. So here we have our web testing dashboard where we have our different management tools to help organize and make testing more efficient. Firstly, we have our build section where our test repository resides. And here we build and organize our test scripts into modules or folders. And additionally, users can manage their test data from the test data management section or from the project setup section. From there, users can import their scripts into the sprints or test lab sections. For execution, users can utilize the sprint section for in sprint testing or the test lab section for all other forms of execution. Afterwards, users can find the reports in the analyze section where we have separate areas for sprints and test lab. We're about to show you what we mean by no code test building. Here's an empty script. We are now going to create a test script from scratch. There are a few ways to do it, but first we will talk about creating it manually. The first thing we want to do is choose an action type and then provide a description and any necessary data. Some fields are required for certain action types. For example, a set action type requires data for input so the script can enter in text in a text field. Just about all action types require a locator and locator value to perform the action on an element on the page. From there, continue adding steps until the script is complete. Additionally, users can record their test scripts instead of making them manually step-by-step. Step. Start the recording by pushing the button and a new window will open up. From there, type or paste in the URL of the web app under test. And shortly after, a pop-up will appear that will list your test steps out for you. You can see that our first step is go to URL. 
and any navigational actions from here on out will be captured by the recorder. Once finished, click the Finish and Import to Script button. Navigating back to Kyris will show us that our steps were successfully imported. There are extra options tied to the test steps. Users can choose to capture screenshots for a test step and also to make them optional. So if the step fails, the script will continue on with the execution. And another thing users can do is parameterize steps. That is to say, data-driven testing. Data can be provided via a CSV file or through manually creating these data tables using our test data management section. In test data management, you can manually create tables that contain data you've input, or this data can be synthetically generated on these data tables as well. If data already exists and can be grabbed from some database or through an API call, that can also be configured here. Lastly, once a test script is completed and ready for testing, these scripts can be imported into the next sections, sprints or test lab for execution and reporting. Test scripts can also be pushed back into the test repository from sprints and test lab sections. That is to say, scripts can be modified and updated, branching scripts or pushing changes back to the original versions. Once imported, we can navigate into a script and click the Execute button. Two options will be given, one for a dry run and one for execute test. And a dry run is basically uh, an execution which will not go on the official reports. If you want an official report, choose Execute Test instead. From there, we have a lot of extra options that we can add onto our executions. The first thing we do is choose what browser and OS combination to execute on. Additional things can be added, such as the ability to schedule a test, notify users via email when execution is complete, or the ability to use global variables and our proprietary Healer AI. Once everything is configured, we can run the test and view the report after execution. Navigating into the reports, the first thing we are met by is our dashboard. Here we can get a general overview of the testing going on in this project, including the overall executions, daily test executions, and a more granular view of various suites and scripts in the Details tab. Individual executions can be found under the Executions tab. Now, inside of a report, we can see that at the top of the page, we get some metadata on this execution. This includes the number of test cases executed and the number of those that passed and failed, the details of the infrastructure used for the execution, and the data of the runtime. And below, we get step-by-step -step analysis, including screenshots if enabled for that step, as well as pass and fail indicators and data outputs. And another thing that users can do here is share reports in various ways. This includes emailing the report, downloading it, or even generating a PDF version of the report. And last but certainly not least, users can also view a video recording of the execution as evidence. And this goes for every single execution that is done here on Kairos. And that concludes this part of our Lunch and Learn series. Thanks so much for joining us today, and we hope that you gained some insightful information about how automation and testing is performed on the Kairos platform. Again, feel free to visit our website for more resources and to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Look forward to our next Lunch and Learn, where we will be covering our end-to-end -end testing capabilities on Kairos. Thanks much. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Now we'd like to open up the uh, Q&A session for this uh, Lunch and Learn. Uh, so we already have a couple questions that were asked and uh, we'd like to address here right away. But if you do have any other questions, please feel free to put them in the chat and then those will be forwarded to us so that we can answer those. Awesome. So the first question here 
uh, asks about our Healer AI tool. So Healer seems like a neat tool, but what differentiates it from similar tools out there on the market? Well, that's a great question. Uh, the answer to that is that our Healer AI tool is the only one that doesn't work off of confidence scores. Well, we do, but rather we should say that whenever Healer provides you a response back, it's 100% confident that that response will work. Healer helps prevent against test flakiness and brittleness, like I mentioned earlier. And essentially, it helps prevent against uh, issues rising up with uh, changes in UI and then having those uh, changes affect our automated test scripts, where then they start to fail because we can't find that element that we're trying to interact with anymore. Well, in a lot of other tools out there, what happens is, is that uh, the user has to provide some weight um, to the response from that tool. So if it's like an 80% weight or 70% weight, that means, uh, you know, a weighted response means that uh, when that response comes back, if there's an 80% chance that it'll work, it'll provide it to you. But with Kairos, it's a 100% going to work all the time. Great question. Uh, the next question we got is, does Kairos support any integrations? Um, specifically asking about CICD tools. So yes, we do. We have a complete list on our website that you can uh, view at kairos.com slash integration slash solution slash integrations. Uh, if you go there, you'll be able to find all of our uh, integrations um, and, and that goes beyond just our CICD tools. Uh, we, we, we also integrate with uh, other tools like JIRA and other test management tools as well. Uh, to name a few of the CICD tools we integrate with is uh, Azure DevOps, um, we also have um, Jenkins as well and Circle CI, and we're continuing to grow that list every day. Awesome. We have another question. Um, can we only execute one test at a time, or is there some grid that we have access to? And the answer is yes, you can execute more than one test at a time. You can actually execute tests in parallel on Kairos, which essentially means that uh, if you have uh, multiple, um, you know, uh, browsers for your infrastructure. So if you have like two Chrome browsers that you can have access to and use, then you can run your tests two time, uh, two at a time, um, two of them on Chrome. And then if you have other ones like my, uh, Microsoft, uh, Mozilla Firefox, I should say, uh, and Microsoft Edge, you can also run those in parallel as well. So you can run as many tests at the same time as you want, so long as your infrastructure has the room for it. And then we have another question. Is there a summary report that can be emailed to the product owner after each test suite execution run to show a high level summary of pass slash fail results automatically? Um, so the answer to that is essentially yes, we can provide reports. Um, a summary report uh, is something that we're working on to provide a summary to the wider group. However, there is summary uh, reports that you can view on the actual, um, on the actual platform itself. So that way you, you would be able to get that overview there. Um, I believe that we're still rolling out the ability to share it amongst your teams. Um, but yes, that's something that absolutely we have looked at in the past. Thank you for that question. And that seems like that concludes our Q&A session now. Uh, thank you guys for all your questions. And also I just wanted to say thank you very much for joining us for this uh, Lunch and Learn. Uh, we're very excited to bring you uh, future ones. Uh, we're going to be going more in depth uh, in the next ones, uh, specifically on test data management, which we actually touched a little bit upon in this webinar, in this uh, Lunch and Learn series uh, episode, where essentially we, um, we, we'll go more in depth on how we can retrieve data from these data sources um, and then use those in our tests for data-driven testing. And we also have more coming out, so keep your eyes out and uh, keep your head on a swivel. Thank you very much.